The first school teacher in Greer was Miss Sally Cannon, who taught in a log cabin. After several school locations, the students of Greer finally had a fine new brick building on School Street. In 1905, the year the school was built, J.M. Moore became the first superintendent of city schools for Greer and hired these teachers for the Greer Graded School. The 1913 Greer graduation class poses proudly for their picture. The last senior class at Central School posed on the front steps in 1922, the year that the new Davenport High School was completed. When D.D. D. Davenport died in 1918, he left money for a new high school in his estate. Completed in 1922, the new high school was built on Church Street. The high school was named the D.D. Davenport High School in memory of Mr. Davenport. The first school year in the new building was 1922-23. This fine faculty taught the students. The first football teams had to practice and play on the Victor Mill Recreation Field. This groundbreaking for a new stadium in Greer in the 1930s meant that the Greer High football team would have its own home field. Greer High School organized a basketball team in 1920 for the first organized competitive sport at the school. The first Greer High School yearbook was called the Bantam. Mr. B.L. Frick Former superintendent and principal of 96 schools came to Greer as the principal of Davenport High School. He oversaw the building of a new Greer High School on North Main Street and was a popular principal there for many years. Drivers' training cars for the high school were provided by D&D &D Motors. The new Greer High School was dedicated on March 8, 1953. The old school became the Davenport Junior High School. Many elementary schools were found in areas around Greer. Fairview Elementary served the Fairview community until 1983. After the first mill school burned, this Victor Elementary School was erected and served the neighborhood until 1972. Duke Street School served the children of the Franklin and Greer Mill communities. It closed in the 1980s. During integration, the Dunbar Elementary School merged with Victor and was renamed East Greer Elementary School. As Greer grew, there was a need for additional schools. During the 1950s, Tryon Street and Woodland Elementary School were built for the children in the expanding neighborhoods of Greer. This is Tryon Street, but both schools were built in the same style. Lincoln High School was built in the 1950s to serve the African American students who had previously gone to Dunbar. Later, it became the Foothills Vocational Center. In farming communities, there were small schools to serve the children of the area. Ansel School was part of the community, which included the Ansel Post Office at the Mosteller Mill. Before Greer was founded, the Pleasant Grove was a vibrant community with churches, school, and post office. Its school was organized before the Civil War. After the Pelham Mill School burned in 1913, the community built a new school in 1916 that served the children until 1955. Mount Lebanon School served the Blue Ridge community. 
high school students went to Jordan High School. In 1952, the Future Farmers of America posed in front of Jordan High School. The new Blue Ridge High School was built in the 1950s to replace the old Jordan High School. This 1956 scene in front of Blue Ridge High School shows the buses needed to carry the students of the Blue Ridge area to and from school. The schools that you have seen are long gone. Replaced with fine new facilities are closed forever. They represent the history of our efforts to educate our children to be the good citizens.